At times, it can be challenging to have a clear idea as to how well an organization is performing. With so many options that measure or indicate activity, what is a truly useful way to really know the excellence of a product or service? One way to answer that question is a performance measure known as QTOE. No, not QT over OE, but a combination of three variables, Q, T, and OE. Let's take a look at all three. So this is Q, otherwise known as quality. Quality is defined as the degree of excellence. This variable is a descriptive measure, one that helps us know how good something is. Here is T, or throughput. Throughput reflects the capacity of an organization to meet the demand for its services. People commonly track throughput by measuring the volume of people served or units of work completed. Throughput is the reason or purpose of a given operation that can be pretty bland without further description. That is why when quality and throughput are combined, we can better understand the value of services or production. Finally, meet OE, or operating expense. Operating expense is all of the money used to produce the quality throughput. So, QTOE can help us have a clear idea of organizational performance by taking into account the throughput of our system, how good our service or product is in quality, and how efficient we are at producing that value by evaluating the quality throughput in terms of its operating expense. In addition to learning the value produced per dollar invested, we can also evaluate performance in terms of how these variables relate to each other. In a similar fashion, government services also benefit from the use of variables of quality, throughput, and operating expense. Government services are usually in a position where the citizen faces a lack of options. Implementing QTOE as a performance measure can assist government leaders to best drive value to the multiple stakeholders for a specific government service. With an eye to becoming better, faster, and more cost-efficient, government agencies in the state of Utah have been applying this measure and other success framework tools to their operations. To learn more about their experience and the tools implemented, visit the state of Utah's Governor's Office of Management and Budget website.